Hi, my name is Vineet, and we're going to talk about how to download and install LabVIEW for use with NIMeoDAC. Now, if you're already on a Windows computer on your desktop or laptop, you can go ahead and click on the link below, and that should take you right to the download page. But if you're watching this on your phone, then you can go ahead and, on your Windows computer, on your development machine, open up a web browser, type in enna.com slash downloads. And this will take you to our main support download page, where you can download all sorts of NI software, all from one spot. You can also go to the support dropdown, and you can see the popular downloads here. And let's go ahead and click on LabVIEW. So this is the main LabVIEW download page, where I'll have everything I need to download for the exact version and the exact uh, edition of LabVIEW that I'd like. I've got my supported operating systems. I can pick the latest version uh, from this dropdown menu. So we'll go with the 2024 Q3 the baseful professional editions, and then you can pick your application bitness, either 32 or 64. That'll depend on the LabVIEW toolkits that you use, which is none of my bitness. But the, mo the most important thing to remember is to include the driver software. This is really helpful because LabVIEW is your application programming environment, but the real connection to the device is your driver. And in this case with MioDAC, we use the NIDACMX driver software. So in order for everything to work, you'll, have, you'll need LabVIEW and an iDocumx installed. It's nice just to include it right here. Once we're all done, we can come over to the right and go ahead and start the download by clicking on Download. Now you'll notice the file size says 5.88 megabytes, which seems tiny. In reality, that's just the installer for the download to kick off. When you look at installing all of LabVIEW and DACMX, you're going to end up with several gigabytes on your system. But this, this quick download is nice for starting off the whole process and, and downloading LabVIEW. It's going to ask you to put in your user account. So if you don't have one, you'll have to create that. Um, and I'm going to log in here to start the download. And now it should take me to the page where it starts downloading, downloading all of my selection, the LabVIEW 2024 Q3 edition and the NIDACMX driver softwares. Now it's you can see up here, it's uh, downloaded right now. I'm going to go ahead and kick that off. It's going to ask me to use the NI Package Installer. This is helpful. This installs NI Package Manager, which is where all of my software for NI is managed on my system. So I'm going to click Yes. And this is where it'll start to give me all my selection options for downloading the application software and the driver software. You can see the program environment is checked for LabVIEW. I'm going to scroll down. You could choose to download these other add-ons if you want. You could evaluate those. But in this case, we're just going to go with LabVIEW. And we're just going to focus on NIDACMX. So I'm going to uncheck some of these, some of these other boxes here uh, and hit Next. Then it's going to give me some additional items. I'm just going to go ahead and deselect all. So now I've deselected all. Let's just quickly look through and look at what might be helpful. Uh, when I go down, the hardware, assistant, the hardware configuration utility is helpful. Um, it, uh, going through, you can see the different toolkits that are optional for LabVIEW. And now we get into things like the NIDACMX support, which might be good if I want to use uh, this product with other types of products, with other types of languages or, or programming environments. Um, so anything with NIDACMX is helpful just to, just to check. Um, I'm going to keep scrolling, keep scrolling. All that looks good. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add the DACMX CDAC firmware. This is if I, if I eventually want to switch to other devices like Compact DAC. It's kind of helpful to have that already installed. So now with that, I'm going to hit Next. It's going to ask me to approve the license agreement. And now is the summary of everything that I've chosen to install. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start the installation. Now, the, depending on your internet connection, download speeds, depending on the processor and the memory that you have available on your system, um, the, the installation time will vary. And so once we've kicked it off, this is a good chance to maybe go work on something else, take a break, uh, get some coffee. And we're going to come back and see what, is, what it looks like after everything's installed. All right. We have everything installed. We have the latest version of LabVIEW and also NIDACMX driver software. So let's plug it in and see how it goes. This MioDAC device, of course, is, uses USB Type-C, which is really nice because it's all bus powered. So I don't need to connect any other power up. Let's go ahead and connect that in. And if we look to the device, Yep. Sure enough, we have a green light for USB power, which means we should be all set and ready to go, which also means that we should be able to recognize this in software. So let's have a look. I'm going to go through and look for the newly installed LabVIEW application. 
And uh, let's just go ahead and start a brand new virtual instrument. So I'm going to go to File, New VI. And we can hit Control T to tile them left and right. And so this is the block diagram. I can right click. I can see all my different functions and structures. But if I go down to Measurement I.O. and I tack it down, here's a good way to see that I have NIDAC MX installed. So this is where a lot of my driver API will be. If I click on that, I can choose to pick the different functions or the different API calls for DACMX. Or a quick way to test things is to pick the DAC Assistant, the Express VI, where then I can quickly go ahead and automatically generate or script out a, a task. So when I go to Analog Input, Voltage, and sure enough, I see my USB 6421. That's the device that we just plugged in. I can click on Analog Zero just as a starting point. Go ahead and finish. And here's where I have my configuration panel. This is where I can choose the different input ranges. I can choose if I want to measure differentially or single-ended. Uh, but let's just hit Go, hit OK. And now I know that my device has been recognized. I'm able to interact with it using DACMX. And I can start to develop my application in LabVIEW. So that's the quick intro on how you download and install LabVIEW along with NIDACMX for use with NI MioDAC.